Hey folks, welcome to Market Technical Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today is Friday, April 4th, 2008. Well, today was an interesting day for multiple reasons. There was some activity in the morning, the markets tried to push higher, but the consolidation in this market just continues. And you guys know we've been expecting this, and ever since that hard push on Tuesday, it's like a repeat performance. The week before, we had a big rally Friday and Monday, and then we consolidated for the rest of the week through Monday, and then we had a big rally on Tuesday. So we, since Tuesday, we've consolidated virtually sideways the whole time. The market's just setting up for another move up, possibly as we do think it will. Now, let's take a look at what the markets did today. And I mentioned consolidation. Consolidation is a uh, period of time where the markets take a break from their massive move up or down. It can work both ways. But here we saw the, the Dow down about 16.5 points today, the NASDAQ up 7.5, and, and the S&P up a point. So obviously no movement in the markets today, which is the third day this has happened. And the longer we settle here, the bigger the move that will come will be. So now it's been three days. Do we have a move coming Monday or Tuesday? It wouldn't shock me to see another day of consolidation, but at the same instance, it's very likely that this move is on the horizon now, and we have to be ready for it. So at this stage of the game, believe it or not, and I'm going to go into the charts here when we get into the charts, it's important to realize that you are need to be prepared for the next possible move, just like we advised to be prepared for the last mega rally move in the markets, and what a rally that was. All right. Now as we get into the charts, I just want to mention again, come join the Swing Trade Alerts. we got a great trigger on, on a play today um, when the markets were at their lows and the stock rebounded nicely up and we're in the money nicely on that one already. The other two plays that we're in, we're in a total of three plays in the Swing Trade Alerts right now, and uh, the other two plays are in the money as well. So a nice day overall. Good. The Swing Trade Alerts continue to be uh, good right now in this market as we anticipate the markets move perfectly. So I do encourage you all to come join that. The E-mini stock chat is just awesome. I had a great time this morning. The first solar trade uh, calling a short at a double top was probably the best reward in the least amount of time, and I'll go into that later in this video. So I do encourage you to come join that or do the combo package. Combo, you get $50 discount off that. It's a great value. Options alerts. The options alerts have been phenomenal lately. Uh, calling these moves, they've been triggering like crazy. The options have just been, been, been huge to the upside. Again, let's get right into the charts now that we've covered that. Uh, what you saw again today was consolidation, no doubt about it. You saw a move up in the markets here. Then we had 8.30 jobs data and some other data coming out that was actually pretty ugly. And the market sold. Look at this candle here. So prior into that, we had a nice push up on the 10 minute. And again, we're looking at the 10 minute intraday ES chart, which is the E minis, follows the S&P nicely. And you saw here the 8.30 sell off start. We got a little bit of a retrace, but that's always a bearish. Whenever you have such a big candle down, you get the bounce and then you usually get a retest of the lows, if not lower. That's exactly what we got. And you can see the market sell down, but then all of a sudden, and again, this is where the beauty of it is. And I'm gonna mention this right away. We got this, we, the futures were up about seven points going into the 8.30 data. And all of a sudden you got this 8.30 data that was pretty ugly, frankly, it was very ugly. And the market sold off, but even in the sell-off, the futures here only dipped to the slight bit negative and then settled right here up basically flat on the day. And when you have negative news out there, and this is important because you're gauging sentiment and psychology, and it doesn't really take the markets down, you have to recognize that and say to yourself, okay guys, right now this action, this price action compared to the, the negativity of the earnings is on a positive bias. And Keep in mind, this data on at 8:30 had come out a month ago or six weeks ago. The markets probably would have sold off. You know, Nasdaq probably would have been down 50 points, Dow down 300. So it's a major change in sentiment, and it's important to recognize that. Not only this, but right around 10, 10, 10 30, we noticed to put call ratio when the market's down here. All right, right here, the chat room, and again, we have great subscribers because we all participate. It's a huge group here now of about. 30 people and we do encourage you to come join it because it's a great group and we just get so much out of it as they do but right here everyone's kind of mentioning that the put call ratio is 1.4 and change that's way too high it means way too many shorts in this market off this negative news and they're all amateurs in general mostly or even if they're not it doesn't matter whenever you have such a weighting to one side it's like a scale it's got to get tipped back to the other side to come back to equilibrium and the markets start to rally off of that get a beautiful push up look at the double top that comes in off that and again, this is a sell signal. You obviously want to sell the first hit of a double top, just like the first hit of a trend line 
uh, when it's moving up into a trend line is going to be a probably a decent scalp short to the downside. So sure enough, you have a push down. Then we consolidate here, and this is a bearish consolidation pattern. We call it in spirit of bear flag, and it consolidates right on that 20 moving average, and then the push down right down to this area and a small bounce into the close. So a very interesting day on the intraday aspects of the chart with a couple nice formations. You can easily see how this move down here initially came down right to the 50, then consolidated on the 20 moving average, and then again fell through down to the 200 and basically ended the day on the 200. Again, the markets were flat, and I showed you the 60 minute yesterday. Uh, that I can quickly flip to that here, and we'll go to that, and you can see what I'm looking at. Um, basically what we showed yesterday on the 60 minute was that you're still in a sideways channel and you're gonna see that again so what I want to just quickly show and let's just get it to that point is here's the move on that huge rally day and I can swing it back here a little bit so we can all see that mega rally and that was on the first of April huge rally and then you basically went sideways and if you stretch this line all the way out you come to the same area where we are now I mean, it's this has been unbelievable just how the high of that day has been the area we've consolidated. Yes, we've been above. Yes, we've been below down here. But I drew the channel before, and I'm just going to draw it in roughly here. You can see this sideways channel, and it's very rare you get a sideways channel. I'm going to go into on this on the daily. I think it's important to realize. Um, but it's usually you want to see. I we don't even like to see a little bit of a downtrend like this a little more. And so we'll go into that again as I mentioned shortly. Now let's take a look at the daily chart on the ES and you can see that consolidation pattern to a T to the sideways just right there. Here's the mega move we called and again I'm just gonna, I always draw on these W patterns for everyone to see. You had the W V pattern beautifully forming blasting up here. Now you're getting sideways con uh, uh, consolidation. Now the one thing I do want to mention is volume again today was light and you can see the volume here it hasn't you know the biggest volume day was the big up day which is expected. Here you've had sideways volume lighter than that move. But you know, in many instances, you almost do want to see a little bit of a pullback. Right into this 50 would almost be perfect. So if we do have another consolidation day, and we're not sure we will, it's, it's either consolidation or probably a blast off. Um, and then we may have a consolidation day Monday and then a blast off Tuesday or Wednesday. It seems like the, the last blast off was on Monday. The, the one this week was Tuesday. Maybe next week it's Wednesday. Yeah, I don't really know. Things Weird things happen like that with time and, and pattern and stuff. And we'll continue to analyze that to see if we can isolate it a little better. But wouldn't really be a horrible thing to have a little bit of a down day, but this market doesn't want to go down. And again, we mentioned the whole sentiment aspect of that. So keep that in mind, guys, is that the sideways to slightly lower channel is, is perfect for consolidation. And even if we were to come back and touch this level, which is the 50 moving average on the daily, that would not be horrible and that would actually be a positive. So either way, whether or not we blast off from here or pull back a little more into that 50 moving average, that's still a bullish case scenario and you still want to look for that rally we're, we're calling for, continued rally really we're calling for. As you guys know, we've been dead on in all these moves in the market, whether it's consolidation or rally or fall. Okay, let's look at the NASDAQ daily quickly. Just to touch on the same chart pattern here to the side, so I don't really want to get into that too much. Enough's been said on the daily chart. The SPY looks the same um, as does the Dow. I mean, these are all the same chart patterns. It's all following the pattern. Now, one thing today I want to go over is the solar stocks. What a monster move. These stocks have been so hot lately. And again, I want to state here first is that Really, when things, something's been this hot for this long, you're not looking to buy at this stage of the game. You're actually looking to probably inch in with a small short position at, at a certain point. Now, we may continue to go up in the solar stocks as they've been very, very hot. But first solar was a great one today in the chat room because this look at this thing. Look at this blast off here on the daily. And today, this is the big move. So this, this stock was up something like uh, 30 plus points today at the high. And, uh, you know, we mentioned in the chat room as the stock's climbing, and I'll show you the intraday. Here's the intraday. So as the stock's climbing, you know, it's where, where do you short? Where do you short? This is getting extended, right? And yes, we kept on saying it's getting extended, but it could go higher. And we said in the chat room, you want to wait until you get a signal on a technical level, which is would be the short signal. Well, sure enough, we looked at the chart. Notice the double top at $283. Boom. Where did that chart go? 283. Where did we get a short off or where did we call the short this morning in the chat? 283. Initially, and this is the beauty of uh, best trades in the world work out in no time at all, meaning that they're quickly made, you're in and out in a second, your money's only exposed for a short amount of time, and this is the beauty of Vivid. It broke that high, we always look for the high break because you always get a break as a flush, it flushes through, and then you have the sell-off. So right here you had a push through, 
and then immediately sell pressure came in and you could have jumped on the short and believe it or not it got you five dollars to the downside within 60 seconds 60 seconds that quick unbelievable uh just a great trade today uh, absolutely so in any case we talked about that in the chat room we called that one out as a beauty there were a couple others this morning this afternoon got a little on the slow side as the market kind of took a breather into friday afternoon all right as but there definitely were many others the solar stocks continue to be hot china looks like it's upticking here we'll see if china has a good night on on sunday night or sunday into monday for our time on the east coast to whether or not some of these chinese stocks will continue to move up but they've been a nice mover today other than that, guys, I just do encourage you, do the private consulting. It's awesome for one-on-one -on -one experienced learning. Institutions out there, you want to learn this stuff, you want advice, you come to us. Uh, come join the Swing Trade Alerts, everyone. Come join the Options Alerts. Come join the chat room. It's awesome, it's fun, and you'll learn more than you can imagine. Take care, guys.